Greetings, ladies and gentlemen of the internet. We have now had our second alpha showcase of race, and we have received the tons of good feedback on the direction we're going to progress in. We've had about five or six respondents so far, and the critique has mainly been centered around the fact that combat and enemies are currently not that interesting. So we would need to have a lot more variation in the player attack patterns, and a lot more variation in enemy attack patterns for that matter. Better enemy placement. Hopefully we can do better with the level design as well, to promote more interesting combat encounters. As, and apart from that, also the movement is now too sluggish to short hop or do the more quick and advanced maneuvers that you have, like, like quickly dodging out of combat and then moving back in. So as for direct direction we're going to go in now, we want to focus exclusively on extending the attack system and the enemies we already have. Instead of introducing more content, we would like to make sure that the, the core gameplay loop is as interesting as possible. So we have a couple of games we're looking at for inspiration, which are mainly, as of now, Devil May Cry for the weapon system and the fighting mechanic, uh, Mega Man X for the enemy behavior, as well as boss behavior and overall level design, and Ninja Gaiden for enemy behavior and level design as well. I'll show a couple of these games uh, as some footage here to give you some variation so you don't have to look at the game once more. As for Raze now, also, the player attack system needs to be more flexible. So we're thinking either of making it so that you permanently run quicker or have some sprint mode that you have to activate which drains your stamina. As well as an interesting thing that we were thinking about experimenting with is a Z-targeting system similarly to how it's done in Devil May Cry and Zelda where you can lock onto certain enemies and always face them and you have to cycle through enemies if there are several through them. We will definitely have to make an alternate attack pattern for every enemy, like they could have area effect attacks or dash attacks, or and so some of them could be unbreakable as well to make it even harder. We'd like to add a few special attacks and possible combo attacks for the player. And a neat little feature that we talked about building, which we are most definitely going to experiment with, is making a system where you can have two melee weapons and one ranged weapon at the same time. And the melee weapons would unlock their own set of attacks and special attacks that you can use in synergy with the other weapons. So for instance, we've discussed making a dagger that lets you blink quickly, or a heavy sword that just hits very heavily but very sluggishly. Don't know if that's a word, sluggishly, slowly. But so, for, for example, for that situation, it could be that you you dash quickly into action with the dagger, and then you do a couple of heavy hits with the sword, and then you dash quickly out again. And it lets you do a sort of assassin-type backstab build that's high agility, but with high, high damage output. And then you would upgrade each of those weapons either linearly or through some skill tree mechanic where you can further refine the uh, the utility of each weapon depending on your playstyle. So that is really it. That is all we are what we are planning on doing. As for next week, we will most definitely see a couple of new attacks attack moves, a new behavior for every enemy, and hopefully a new weapon to show off. My hope is that we will have time to do all this, because Martin is currently on vacation for this week, and I have just moved back to my home country, Sweden. So there has been a lot to do with that. But I'm, at least I'm thinking about getting started tomorrow, and then we'll both be back in our saddles by next week. So yeah, I'll make sure to have a couple of new features to show next week, and I will definitely let you know when the next version is ready for you to try. I hope you stay tuned and check out Race next week to see the features we've been working on. Bye!